Hi, I'm Alex. And I'm Michaela. And this is Sage, our bus. And we've been living in her for about six months. And uh, we'd love to show her to you. Yeah, come on in. Welcome to our bus, and this is a big focal point of Sage, and is basically our kitchen. It's a one long eight foot slab of butcher block that we cut and cured ourselves. Adding in the sink was a big part of our, of course, kitchen build because we wanted it to be deep, accommodating, and also be a part of the countertop itself. So we went with the Torva station sink that comes with the cutting board, and of course, other things that drop into now we so if we have a cluttered countertop during our uh, cooking and of course which can happen when we cook our meals we love 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 to cook it kind of can bleed over into the sink and still be part of uh, you know our mess is still contained within this big old sink we also did of course a little uh, kind of slinky looking little dude you know hot water cold water everything come comes on just does everything it's supposed to we actually have about 50 gallons of water storage. I have two 30 gallon drums back there that are on their sides. Yeah, we've been able to do honestly about a week, week and a half in this thing without having to refill. If we're frugal, we have to be frugal. And that's kind of the name of the game of being on the road. Up above, we have a bunch of storage space for all kinds of different things. We actually have two different pantries. We like for the cans and other things to be uh, contained up here as we drive. Very serious situation. If something comes flying out of this thing, not only is this real glass, my girlfriend, Michaela, sits right here. I don't want anything like that to happen. Up here, of course, is our plates and other things. We do a lot of paper plates and, uh, of course, plastic bowls, but also is our spices and everything. And like I said, we love to cook, so we have just a ton of different stuff that, honestly, I kind of couldn't live without just because we find a way to put, kind of incorporate a little bit of everything almost in every meal, which is a lot of fun. Last is our lovely uh, stove. Now we've been using this stove to travel with for years. So I was like, I'm not forgetting this thing when I build it. I honestly, our budget didn't completely provide enough money for a drop-in propane stove. So I just went ahead and refashioned this. We use a really high-end CO monitor right here that is right above this, but can also be moved around the bus as we, especially as we're traveling. This bus does create some carbon monoxide and we want to be on top of it and know when we need to either stop, pull over, or whatever it needs to be. But we have been able to mitigate most of those uh, pockets of gas. And, uh, and especially when we're stopped and everything, we get, almost get zero readings from any of the propane stuff. So we fully trust it, happy with it. It keeps us uh, eating really, really good meals every day. So my lower storage is pretty freaking simple. It's not too anything too crazy. I know a lot of people do slide out drawers and all kinds of wonderful things, but I know our lifestyle is gonna change. So I've just kind of left it a blank slate with little shelves, some Tupperware for keep our little uh, utensils and other cooking utensils there. Then back here, just enough room to get in there is all of our dog food, cat food, and some more produce and stuff. So we got first aid kits and everything that we keep on the inside of the doors. Here's our lovely other second pantry. So. I kind of got bored one day and I was staring at this thing and I was like, we need a vertical drawer. So I kind of just picked up some scrap wood and started making it and it turned into a perfect little pantry that we, we store a lot of on. So we have more than enough food all the time. It's kind of crazy. I feel like I'm somehow gaining weight on the road. I don't see how that's happening, but it's going down. A little trash can hangs out right there along with our other kind of cleaning supplies and our attached safe to the uh, bus. Here we have our lovely, uh, actually Costway um, DC refrigerator. Now this thing is great. This thing will fricking freeze my food, keep it frozen, do whatever we need to. It's very, very adjustable from this little slide out drawer and everything. And then of course it has an eco setting on it, which is big time for my solar batteries. And I've never had any issues with it within the four years I've been using this thing. It's uh, 54 quarts. We keep all our eggs, milk, all the other wonderful little goodies in there and just simply stows away. And while we're driving, I just use this little lock and that's it. It's a, it's a happy, happy little refrigerator where it lives.
So what inspired us to hit the road initially was kind of the opportunity. We had been um, kind of gifted this bus that I had uh, uh, gifted to a friend and I bought this thing off of Craigslist for 700 bucks. It was like, what a great project, what a great thing for someone to kind of set in front of them as a goal to achieve. Little did I know, <laughs> that was gonna end up becoming my own goal to achieve. And uh, we kind of just piece by piece started with some of the more exciting things like the butcher block top and then started gutting the bus and we kind of, it snowballed in such a way that, you know, it became a project of almost escape and freedom. So whenever you, whenever we started seeing the end of it, at least for myself, I started feeling this kind of like sense of giddiness, like holy moly, because <laughs> once this part's done, it, it just opened up a whole another door and avenue to life that I hadn't, hadn't really gotten a chance to experience yet. And this is, for me, that was a big, big thing. Yeah. Well, and just like the sense of pride that you get from seeing just your finished product in the end is amazing. Like even to this day, we've been living in it for six, seven months and like, we'll just kind of sit back at night and be like, wow, like we're really out here doing this. Like we did that and it looks amazing and it feels like home. And I just, I don't know, I just love every second of it and can't imagine my life going in any other route at this point. And it's just wild how, I don't know, just seamless everything has yeah. been. Well, besides that one engine <laughs> thing, but other than that, it's been really awesome. Yeah, definitely. All right, so this is the living room area. Um, we actually upholstered this ourselves. So we upholstered it with this fabric that we actually got on clearance. And then I went ahead and button tufted them myself. We keep our sewing machine underneath the um, butcher block in the kitchen area. So that's pretty nice that we can kind of keep it wherever we, we're going. So actually my cat is still acclimating to bus life and she's usually fine with everything else besides the bus turning on and kind of rumbling and moving around. And so underneath the couch is actually her area and her safe space to where she kind of feels comfortable to be. And hopefully eventually she'll be out with us whenever we are, um, whenever we're moving around and everything like that. But for now, that's that's where she lives. <laughs> so we actually decided to go on the copper curtain rod. It was pretty affordable from Lowe's. And so we thought that it would look good and just kind of be a more affordable option versus just regular made curtain rods and everything. Um, they are a little bit hard to clean, so you do need a good copper cleaner in order to kind of maintain them. And we actually just got these curtains at Walmart. They were pretty affordable and they do the job for us. And for being how thin they are, they actually keep the heat out and the cold out and everything. And so they're really nice at climate control and everything like that. So welcome to my corner of the bus. This is actually where I sit whenever we're moving. And we have my seatbelt right here so I can stay safe. It clicks like that. It works perfectly for us. And then we have my closet. Alex was super nice to give me the bigger closet. And so forever grateful for that. And it fits everything that I need. Um, we have my shirts, leggings, jeans, my nice like work clothes and everything. And then my unmentionables right here. And then on top of this, we're able to hold some more of my like teaching storage because I teach remotely out here. And a couple of our like bigger, bulkier books and everything like that. But we have to take it down every time we move because it will knock me out whenever I'm sitting right there. It's happened a couple of times, it's like hit me. So we just kind of like avoid that at all cost. And then we have our cute pictures of Stevie, a couple succulents and just kind of more design aspect to the bus. And it makes it feel really cozy in here and kind of adds a little touch of home in here. And so it's really nice. All right, so this is our bedroom area. We are here a decent amount of time. Um, it's actually wild how different the spaces can feel versus being in the living room, he can be watching whatever he wants to, and then I'll be in here kind of doing my own thing, painting, working, anything like that. Um, right here we have our bookshelf and a battery powered light and an orchid and all that good stuff. And then we have our skylight. So this is actually a newer addition in the bus and we're really liking it a lot. Um, actually, I went ahead and planted some morning glories, which is a vine flower. And so eventually they'll be going around kind of creating a natural um, curtain and so that'll be nice. And then right here we have our national park scratch off. So every time we get done going to a national park, we it's kind of an, an exciting thing to go ahead and scratch them off one by one and kind of see the painting come to life. And it's it's been awesome. And then we have our little bookshelf and 
AC system. The AC system actually holds up really nicely. We're from Texas and so we get those like 100 degree summers and everything and it actually feels really cozy in here and it doesn't get too hot and so that's really nice. And then we have our rocks that we got from different um, National Parks gift shops and everything and a couple pieces of my artwork and plants and all that good stuff so it feels really cozy in here. And another thing that we really love a lot about the bus is the queen size bed. It's absolutely insane that we were able to fit that in here but it works really well. I'm not sure if we're ever going to be able to get it out of here because we pretty much built it in but I don't know. It's really cozy and we love it. So for money on the road for us, it's a, a little bit of a uh, kind of give and take of obviously taking from our savings and giving very little back to it. Um, yeah, and I am a ESL teacher for an awesome company. And I have my teaching background and everything to where you can't even really tell that I'm in a bus and it's really nice passive income or not passive income because I worked for it. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. and. It's cool that I'm able to kind of have all of my teaching materials in here and they don't really get in the way and the lighting that I need and everything that it kind of like keeps us afloat and kind of gives us our um, our play money, so to speak. And so that's really nice. Yeah. Uh, I was actually running a, a very large tubing outfitter in the state of Texas, uh, just outside of Austin and uh, just worked a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, I actually lived at work, uh, which was great at the moment, but it, it definitely wore me down in such a way that uh, this this was the kind of the escape I was needing. And um, I like I like hard work, so converting a schoolie was just right up my avenue, and I just kind of went for it. And uh, I'm happy, so very happy, she let me make this decision because it wasn't an easy one to do. And there were times you're standing in this half done bus and wondering, you know, where are we gonna get the money to finish it with. Mm -hmm. But it, it just, through hard work, it just comes. We just figured it out, put enough savings together, and our frugality on the road has made a huge difference, and we're able to just keep, just kind of keep moving while still uh, maintaining a really good budget. Tight, tight budget. <laughs> Very tight. Yeah, and definitely thinking of your gas bill as rent is definitely important because you'll be like, oh my gosh, $110 for a, ga a tank of gas, like, I'm not used to that because I used to have a Honda Civic and everything, and so yeah. know, if you think of it as rent, then that'll kind of change your perception. Yes. and you will survive and actually thrive out here. Mm -hmm. But you have to you have to have a, a frame of mind shift pretty early on in order to really truly enjoy this process. Yeah. Oh, hello! I didn't see you there. Welcome to our bathroom. This is where the magic really happens. This is my morning office. This is where uh, we get a chance to refresh and get our day started in the best possible way. Now I will say one of the main proud pieces of this uh, bathroom is our lovely little vanity sink. We've been able to maintain a nice little kind of separate sink for just brushing your teeth and washing your hands after your bathroom, that kind of stuff. So we can kind of keep those processes separate from the kitchen itself. We use a lot of puck lighting in here. So there's uh, just simply battery powered lights that are you can kind of turn on and off. Got a uh, little half size mirror right here for my girlfriend to sit on the toilet. <laughs> on top of the toilet and do her makeup in the mornings. And of course we do have a real deal flushing uh, down to a black tank. My black tank is only 14 gallons, so I'm not hauling around all my poo with me. I just get that thing pumped out once a week and I'm a happy, happy guy. Um, here we have some, something of a controversy, I suppose. I have one of these little guys inside, but I have hooked up a 24 hour forever fan to it that takes almost no power whatsoever to, to put it on. So it stays on 24 hours a day pulling out and venting out anything that turns on. So simply as I go into like turn on any kind of hot water here in the vanity, you'll hear it at night, goes up. We've gotten zero carbon monoxide reading. I have gotten zero flammable gas uh, monitor readings from this. So I'm really pleased with it. 
I know it's not the manufacturer's uh, you know, setup by any means, but if you're safe about it, follow general venting uh, rules and for combustible uh, gases, you should be good, uh, good to go to use one of these in here. Here, I also have my full-size shower. And then, of course, heats up very quickly. We're about 100 degrees right now, and we have a, you know, a little shower that we can enjoy having warm, hot, steamy showers at the end of a long, long day out there. Behind it's, of course, our hamper. We've been able to kind of incorporate a little corner piece hamper back there. And uh, one of the things we actually learned we didn't have when we built the thing and started living in it, we're like, holy crap, where do all our dirty clothes go? Because they were everywhere before. So having a place and a hamper planned out, big time. Oh yeah, and having it somewhere away from you to where you don't have to smell your own stinky clothes. It's another good one too. Thanks for coming and joining me in my bathroom. If you don't mind, I would like some privacy now. So my first pro would definitely be the spontaneous nature of everything. You're not, I, I can't really predict one day from the next, even if I plan it out as fully as I possibly could on a map and that kind of stuff. Something is always different than what it was said to be. And I enjoy it. I just enjoy that. I, it's one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, definitely the, like the biggest pro for me is just a life that we can give our animals. Like we have, we have my cat in here with us and she, even though she's a little bit scared of like whenever we drive the bus and everything like that, like she knows that whenever we get to our destination, it's going to be cool. And like, she will be able to like get her harness on, go on a walk, like explore the area. And she just loves it. Like she goes out there, she rolls around, like everything about it is just amazing. And it feels really good that we're able to provide that life for them for our little fur babies. Um, if you're living for that yeah. cat, a kitty on a leash content, you can come visit us at Sage the Bus <laughs> no. Instagram, and we're gonna okay. and give you lots. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I would say a con would be just kind of like the vulnerability of driving your home down the road at 60, 70 miles per hour. Even though like <laughs> we're very confident nothing wrong is gonna happen, but it's just kind of like a, a really crazy feeling that this is your home for now at least, and. It's just, I don't know, it's a really weird feeling, but it's also amazing because you can go to these places that are just absolutely gorgeous and it's really rewarding. So, yeah. I can't think of a con on my side beyond just, there's a lot more daily processes that go into mm -hmm. being a, a schoolie. And you definitely have to work life. together a lot. Yes, a lot mm -hmm. more of a, Kind of give and take on both, you know, with, you know, the efforts and stuff like that that we have around the, the bus. There are some things that I can do that she can't or and vice versa and just things that I mean, maybe she just does flat out way better than I do. I just have to, um, I've learned I kind of have to just let it all kind of go. And I'm learning a lot more stuff with my, because of these increased daily everythings, you know, just nothing is as simple as it seems whenever it comes to trying to live in a bus so but once you get it down it's great it's wonderful it's a part of your every day and I guess it becomes a pro at that point under our couch is a lot of clothing storage but number one under there is our inverter for the solar that actually has wires that drop down to but to uh, three 100 amp hour batteries that are directly below it we do have 500 watts of uh, solar panels, flexi solar panels up top. You can't see them up there or anything, which is really nice, but I've had them kind of contoured to where we can catch a little bit of the first part of the morning sun and also catch the end of the day sun. And actually doing that little configuration, I've seen that I charge about 15 to 20 minutes more on both ends of the day than I would if I when I had just the, pull, the panels located on top. All right, so here is actually the battery box for the bus that was made. And then my third one actually is ported into this one as well. So I actually have more room to grow if I want to. I can continue to add at least two more batteries. I can line this thing with solar panels and uh, I don't think I'd ever lose power and I can sell that generator. This is also my grill. I also want this always. Some uh, national parks and the recreation areas do not appreciate you making fires on their ground. So I bring my own little grill with me just to make sure I don't piss off a ranger. All right, uh, here at the back of Sage, we actually have a whole bunch of kind of outside storage stuff that we only use outside that never needs a real reason to come actually into the bus. 
muddy things, muddy shoes, helmets, other things for the bikes, and of course hoses and sewer septic hoses as well. I actually have a 14 gallon septic tank on this thing, which requires a very stinky hose. So I always keep that thing right back here, away from everything else. Uh, we keep a couple of bikes here, you know, some fun little commuters. Then actually under this thing, it's like a, it's like a little pad, of course, but it's my generator. If ever I am just the solar shot, I mean, it's been snowing and raining for eight days. Just fire the sucker up and let it roll. My propane does for, it actually goes for just my hot water heater. I use a small propane bottle on my actual stove in there. Yeah, it's kind of what uh, how we roll every day. Just put these propane tanks up and hit the road. Kind of see what it has to offer. Thank you guys for coming and visiting our home. We hoped you like it a lot and it was fun having you here. So hope you come back again. And if you're looking for more of our personal story, you can follow us on Instagram at sagethebus, all one word. And we'd be happy to fill you with all the kitty content that you would like. We got this cat on a leash on rocks and trees, bushes. She's being drugged through bushes by the cat. It's great. You guys <laughs> catch it. We'll see you down the line.